A few days back, I brought you guys a video talking about the latest update for the Oppo Find N5, and I mentioned in the video that one of the features that they call out was not something that I was able to access. If I pull up the change log here, you will see right in this section, the O Plus Connect app now supports Windows, enabling you to connect your mobile device to a Windows computer for effortless file management across devices. If you went to the website and you clicked on for Mac OS and Windows, and then you clicked on for Windows and you downloaded that executable, it just would not run. There was some problem with it. Now, fortunately, this has now been addressed and it is now installable and working correctly. So today in this video, we're gonna take a look at the O Plus Connect application. Spoiler alert, it's a little bit of a disaster at least on my computer. All right, so we're gonna do this like this, where you can see my phone screen right there. Can I make it small enough so it'll fit out of the way? Yeah, that'll work. This will be this will be totally fine. We'll do it live, as they say. This is the O Plus Connect application, and I've actually managed to sign in. I'll show you the first thing that's kind of been problematic. It took me a couple of tries to actually sign in. I would sign in, and then it just wouldn't show it, but now it does appear like we are uh, okay, and we are actually signed in. So what we need to do is we need to get these two things connected. So let's click on add device. And what it's doing, it looks like it's trying to pull up a QR code. This is another problem that I have run into. It just doesn't want to display the QR code for some reason. Over here on my phone, you're meant to go into your settings and then go into uh, connection and sharing and then multi-screen connect and then you have your little QR code scanner here but it just isn't presenting me with a QR code to be able to scan. If we look in the settings of this the option is present to auto connect. Automatically connect to nearby devices that are signed into the same account. Well I am signed into the same account and yet it is not auto connecting. Auto connect is turned on over here and it turned on over here but that is also not functioning. On the phone, let's try to add a new device. Now it's supposed to search for a new device, make sure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth have been turned on and that your PC is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as this device. And this could potentially be the problem is that I am on ethernet, not Wi-Fi. It's the same network, but who knows, maybe that's got something to do with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi as well as ethernet and see if that makes any difference. And as you can see here, device was still not found. That pop-up has gone away. I'm still not able to get a QR code. I don't know why that would make any difference on the ability to generate a QR code, but obviously something is preventing it from being able to do that. I'm not gonna bore you with the details because this went on for a while, trying everything that I could possibly think of, and I just simply could not ever get my phone to connect to this application again. I had this up and running just a couple of days ago. Now it would repeatedly disconnect from my phone. And then once that happened, I had to close the app and open it back up and it would usually reconnect for a while. Now I cannot get it to connect at all. I uninstalled the program, reinstalled it, and I still can't get it to give me a QR code. I can't get it to connect in any way, shape or form. But I did have this screenshot that I'd put into the Discord server and I can at least kind of show you what it's meant to do. And it's fairly simple if we just kind of like zoom in over here. Basically what it is, is it's like you've plugged your phone into your computer. You can see recent files, device storage showed the full like folder architecture where you can see all the folders on your computer. You can see different categories here and then different sources. You're just managing your files. Of course, you can transfer things over to your phone. It's again, it's just like you've plugged your phone into your computer and rather than using File Explorer, you are using this to sort of add and remove, to browse, to view the files that are on your phone. If we look at their website, you can see a couple of things. One, just the font in general looks so much nicer on this device. And you also have the remote control option, which is fairly straightforward. It allows you to control your computer from this device. You don't seem to have that option, or at least I did not have that option on my computer for Windows, but you can see here how that's meant to work, but it's just not apparently there, even if you can get the application to work, which I can't. Now, this is not exactly the same thing, but if your goal is to get files from your computer onto your phone and files from your phone onto your computer wirelessly over your network, there are many ways 
to accomplish that task. I use CX File Explorer, and in Windows, you can actually go and right-click on a folder and network share it. There may be some other settings you need to mess with to get this working, but it's pretty darn basic, and this works just fine. You can see here, this is the folder that I actually film in OBS into, and here are all of my files, and I can access them on my phone quite easily, and I can go over here and look at any file on my phone and I can grab one of those files and I can click it and I can copy it and then bring it over and go over to that screen and I can paste it in and there it is. Now it's on my computer. So I have my own way of doing this. I'm sure you probably have your own way as well. Quick share also is a thing. So I don't know, like if the remote control thing was working, this might be useful, but just as a file browsing thing, I think that there have long existed probably better solutions. And the fact of the matter is, this app is uh, extremely buggy. Even when I did get it to connect, it kept disconnecting, and now it's just not functional at all. So Oppo, you gotta get this one straightened out. This is kind of a little bit on the embarrassing side, if I'm being honest. This is about the worst state I've ever seen a major company release an application in. It is what it is, though, guys. I've had quite a few of you ask if this uh, application is not functioning and what I think of it, and there you go. That's what I think of it. It is an absolute dumpster fire that even if it was working correctly, might not be useful to me at all. It is what it is. Bit of a negative video, but that is the reality, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.